right along the Hudson River here. It's a cool winter day in New York City, but it should be an exciting one because I'm about to explore the neighborhood of Tribeca. I think Tribeca is a really great place. It has tons of wonderful restaurants, really beautiful architecture. It's near a lot of stuff. And subsequently, it's one of the most expensive Manhattan neighborhoods. You know, I just recently found out that Tribeca actually stands for a triangle below Canal Street. Over two years of living in New York City and I just learned that. Anyways, I'm gonna start this day off with lunch and it's restaurant week, so there are good food deals to be had. I'll be going to a restaurant called Blue Smoke. It's a barbecue restaurant. I'm extremely excited about this. And you know, I'm actually a certified barbecue judge. Yeah, I actually had to attend a class by the Kansas City Barbecue Society to get that certification. What that means is I'm qualified to judge at barbecue competitions and the important thing about that is I get free food. So when it comes to barbecue, I know what I'm talking about. But the fact of the matter is, what tastes good, tastes good, and anyone can make that judgment. So, on to the restaurant. The restaurant week menu is two courses for $29. For my starter, I got the smoked chipotle chicken wings. This kind of looks messy, but looks really good as well. Really juicy, moist chicken, great sauce, bit of spice to it, but nice and sweet, good flavor, I like this. These wings, really good, but that spice is getting a little intense and I'm making a mess. For my main, I chose the Rhapsody in Q, which came with pulled pork, brisket, and backyard chicken. This is a really big platter of meat. I'm liking this. NYC may have the best of a lot of things, but when it comes to barbecue, it's not the first city that comes to mind. With that being said, I enjoyed everything that I had from Blue Smoke. It was definitely some quality barbecue. Yeah, all the meats are so good, so juicy, so fresh. Really enjoying this. That was some good barbecue, and I think a very solid restaurant week deal as well. So the whole platter I had, I don't believe is something that's on the regular menu, but I really enjoyed it because it gave me a chance to sample a lot of barbecue from the restaurant. My one complaint, I wish I had a side or something to provide a contrast from the meat. Now there was an option on the regular menu where one could add a side as well as a piece of cornbread to any entree, but unfortunately it didn't apply to the restaurant week menu, which kind of sucked. The other issue, the sides that they did have were a little expensive. I mean, it was like $11 for a mac and cheese. Uh, it's a little much for me, but still I thought it was a good restaurant week deal. I feel like my money was well spent and I thoroughly enjoyed everything I had, but now it is time to get something sweet. I'm heading towards Frenchette Bakery. It's a really good spot. I've been there once before. I had like the cinnamon roll, which was wonderful. The bakery is actually an offshoot of the extremely popular and James Beard award winning French restaurant, Frenchette. Hence, Frenchette Bakery. Gotta keep my eyes open for this bakery. As I recall, it's kind of hidden like in a lobby of an office building. So uh, gotta be on the lookout. Ah, here it is. The Dan Bakery already closed. I'm very upset. It happens, it's a popular place. I mean, I was coming late, so what I expect, but still upset. Boy, do I feel foolish. It turns out the bakery is actually open. The thing was, I tried almost all the doors. They were all locked, except the one door I didn't try. That was open. Anyways, I only realized that because someone came in that one door I didn't try. So I got a pistachio croissant. It looks beautiful. Mm. That is really good. 
First off, it's a flaky, buttery, delicious croissant, but it also has this wonderful pistachio flavor in it. The pistachios give this croissant a wonderful sweetness, but also a nice textural element. This is absolutely delicious. Top-notch pastry. Whatever this banging is, so annoying. At least my croissant's good. That was seriously a top-notch, high-quality pastry. I loved it. And I was super fortunate that I was able to spot someone going through the correct door. Otherwise, I probably would have left, thinking the bakery would have been closed, and I would have no nice pastry to show for it. Anyways, I need to wash all this down with some caffeine. Behind this fence is a really interesting art piece on their construction. It looks like the Bean in Chicago, also known as Cloud Gate. It's pretty cool looking. Well, this certainly explains things. He is the artist that actually designed the bean in Chicago. So I'm heading to Laughing Man Coffee. Actor Hugh Jackman, Wolverine himself, actually founded this business. Now the coffee they serve there is really good, but the really unique and cool thing about the establishment is that the profits all go to charity. How awesome is that? I got a small coffee. I'm outside here because I don't have time to linger today. I've got a lot still to do and the sun's starting to set, so gotta move. Mm. There is nothing like coffee on a cold day. Now I do have a few minutes to do a little reading. The book of the week is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. Now I just started, but I'm already more than halfway through. It's a really quick read, but it is an amusing book. It's pretty funny. It's a crazy drug field adventure in Vegas. Ah, check this out. Free books. Let's see if there's anything good here. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like there's any books that I would like there, but you know, it's nice to see. In fact, you do see stuff like that quite often in NYC when people move and they just don't want to bring all their stuff with them. Uh, you know, usually leave it outside and uh, give it away. Sometimes you do get lucky and find a good book that you've really wanted. In fact, I've gotten a few gifts for people from just stuff that I found on the street. You know, people giving it away for free. Anyways, there was good coffee, no luck with the books, but you know, whatever. Now I'm just gonna walk around Tribeca, try to see as much as possible while the sun is still relatively up. Behind me is the famous fire station from Ghostbusters. It's a really cool old looking building, but with the movie history tied into it, it's a really neat sight. Now, I believe they put the Ghostbusters symbol up there for the new movie, which I haven't seen. I really want to see it. I'll see it soon, but yeah, it's a really cool place for any fan of the movie, any fan of the series. It's uh, a neat spot in Tribeca. And here we have the exterior of Frenchette, which is the restaurant that's connected to the bakery that I went to earlier. This is a restaurant I definitely want to go to in the future. The menu looks awesome, but it's tough to get a reservation, but hopefully I'll be able to go someday soon. Right now I'm freezing cold. I really have to go to the bathroom, so I think I'm going to head home. Besides, the sun is practically set. And you know, regardless, I had a really good day today. The food I had was excellent, but like always, the time just goes way too fast. But one thing's for sure, I'll definitely be back in this neighborhood because I love it here.